like to hear that. I might tell you a few things, too. Sounds like a gay evening. It won't be dull, I promise you that. I'll be ready in a minute. See who that is, will you? I think I know who it is. I thought I told you to forget about this evening. Oh, my dear chap, we knew you couldn't be serious. Even if you did shout at us. We haven't even met Mrs. Markham yet, socially or otherwise. And it's so selfish of you to want to keep her all to yourself. It's not like you. So here we are, and you're forgiven, naughty boy. Yes, of course you are. Matt. Hello, Maggie. And Jim didn't hit you. No. He missed as usual. But he told you I was out there. Thank you, things. We're getting out of here. No, I'm not going with you. Whatever it was that made me want you, it's just gone now. Jim covered for you all the time. He can cover it for you with me. You'd better get out of here before he gets back from William's place and kills you. When I checked the church calendar, I found a wedding schedule for two. Something can be done about the church. Another point I had in mind, the uh, highest proportion of older factory workers, those who might want to attend the funeral, are found in the 7 to 3 shift. What difference does it make? The factories will be closed anyway. For the day? Yes, for the day. I suppose all you're thinking of is the money it'll cost. Not as a first consideration, but I did happen to recall Mr. Bullard pointing out at the time of Fitzgerald's death that a paid holiday would represent a loss to the company of approximately $87,000.